Hi there. Uh, I'm Gwen Raimundi. For those of you who uh, may not know who I am, um, and um, today this is the third video in a four-part series that I'm called uh, be, that I'm calling "Becoming Unleashed," and um, it's the the videos are exploring the different topics that we are going to be exploring in my next six month circle, exploring our light. Um, and uh, so I've already talked about uh, reclaiming our strength. Uh, that was in the first video. The second video I talked about reclaiming our power and what our power is and what that's about. And today I'm going to be talking about reclaiming and embracing our daring. Um, so we live in a culture that expects us to play by the rules, right? Now these rules are kind of ever changing and the rules are different depending on who you are in the culture, right? White males get a certain set of rules, white women get a different set of rules, black women get a totally other set of rules, black men get a different set of rules, right? It's all like, you know, and these rules are fucking ever changing, right? And there's double binds within the rules. So, you know, it's the damned if you do, damned if you don't. Um, and the rules are just a bunch of fucking bullshit. They, to be really, really frank, they are about keeping us quiet. They are about keeping us obedient. They are about keeping us small. They are about keeping us oppressed. They are about allowing the status quo to keep on keeping on doing its thing. Where our daring comes in, right, is when we dare to say, no more. I'm done, right? It's when we dare to speak out against the injustices we see. It's when we dare to break the rules. It's when we dare to live life on our own terms. It's when we dare to make our own rules for our lives. It's when we dare to change our own rules for our own lives and it's when we dare to break our own rules, right? It's when we dare to feel confident in who we are. It's when we dare to feel comfortable in our own skin. Daring is about rebellion, right? It's about being in that place of, I don't even fucking care anymore. I don't care what other people think anymore. Or Maybe you do care, but it doesn't matter as much as being true to who you are matters, right? It's coming to that place where it's more important to speak our truth than it is to make other people be comfortable or for us to fit in, right? Daring is... It is about bravery because it takes, it take, you've got to be brave to speak out against our culture. You've got to be brave to speak up about oppression. You've got to be brave to speak out against misogyny. And you have to be brave to be able to look inside and see both your own wounding, right? And to heal that and to see how you've caused wounding in others. Because we all have. This is not, um, not pointing fingers here, right? We have all hurt others in our lives. Intentionally, unintentionally, not relevant, right? It's, it's not really relevant. We've done it. And we have the choice of either stuffing that truth down and saying, no, it never happened, and denying another person their lived experience, denying the validity of their experience. We could do that. We can, um, we can say, yeah, it did happen, and then spiral into a black hole of shame and 
keep telling ourselves this story over and over and over about how we're horrible people and blah, 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 right? We can do that. That's an option. Or we can dare to not do either of those things because both of those are falling in line with our culture. Both of those are doing what our culture wants, right? We can dare to say, yep, I screwed up. I'm sorry. If we can say sorry, right? If, if we have that ability to make amends with that person or with those people or, um, you know, with uh, whatever, wherever we've caused wounding and harm. And then, right, apologizing, absolutely. And then doing our own work to do differently, to not cause that harm again. to find our ways of doing different in the world and being, allowing who we are to be seen, right? To be more seen, to not fall in line with the rules, to not fall in line with the game, to, to speak out and to be individuals and be autonomous and be um, differentiated, right? From everyone else, to be able to be our own individual and then right because we are social beings who are meant to live in community we find our community right because the truth is our culture wants us to be lonely and isolated and and it does a really great job of, of that. It does a really great job of isolating us and making us feel lonely because we're so afraid to speak out. We're so afraid to let people see the real us, right? We're so afraid for uh, others to see our own imperfections, to see the ways we've made mistakes, to see the ways we've caused harm, to see the ways we don't know certain things, right? Um, we're so afraid for others to see that, that we hide and we like, we pretend to be more than we are, or we pretend to be less than we are. You know, that's another way we hide, right? We hide how smart we are, or we hide our bodies, or, uh, you know, we hide our brilliance, we hide our truth, we hide, right? There are very real reasons why we do that, right? I mean, look at the statistics of 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 how women are um, are murdered by their intimate partners, be that a spouse or a or a boyfriend, right? Three women a day, on average, on average, three women a day in the United States alone are murdered by their intimate partner or a recently ex intimate partner. right? Our fear to speak up and speak out, it's real and it's legitimate and it's valid. It's, it is, right? And, and, yes, that is true. And we have a choice still to speak out and speak up, to dare to do that. And there may be a very real risk in doing that. And we need to find our ways to protect ourselves, right? But not by falling into line, not by following the rules, not by doing what we're told or what's expected, right? By finding our people, by finding our community, by finding our true support systems, by daring to do that, by daring to let them see who we are, and daring to know that they have our back as we have theirs, right? Our daring is really about daring to change things, 
daring to not accept things being the way they are. Not accepting the line of, well, this is how we've always done it, so this is how we're always going to do it, right? Not accepting the line of, oh, boys will be boys, right? Not accepting the line of being dismissed for being too emotional, right? Daring to really step into our power and create the change that needs to be made. Daring to embrace our strength and knowing where we can do the work in the outer world and knowing where we need to do our own inner work. One of the things that we're, one of the lines that really comes up a lot, I feel, in our culture when we're talking about women in particular, is how dare she? How dare she dress that way? Right? How dare she speak up in that way? How dare she get an education? How dare she have a, a job that makes lots of money? How dare she um, stay home with her children? How dare she uh, work outside the home uh, and away from her children? How dare she not have children? Right? How dare us? How dare you? How dare her? We all do this, right? We all, um, and it comes from a place of discomfort, right? Because when someone else steps up, when someone else steps into their power, when someone else steps into their strength, when someone else dares <laughs> to do different and be different than what our culture tells them, tells us to be and do, it makes those of us who haven't embraced those parts of ourselves incredibly uncomfortable. And we project all that discomfort, all that feeling of wrongness in us out onto them. How dare they? How dare they talk about their sexual assault? How dare they talk about how that person abused them? How dare they, right? We all do this. We all have our internalized shit, right? We all do. We, we can't not have it living in this culture. We can't not. Um, it is part of this culture. It is part of growing up in this culture. It is part of our mothers growing up in this culture, our grandmothers, our great-grandmothers, our uh, great-great-grandfathers on our dad's side, right? All of this shit has been passed down over and over and over and over. And not only is our lived experience taking in all of that training, right, in how we try to be in the world, it's also living in our bodies, right? That trauma has been passed down through our genetics. Epigenetics has found a trauma marker that is passed down through the generations. And until trauma is resolved, it keeps getting passed down. And that shows up as anxiety. That shows up as depression. That shows up as autoimmune issues. That shows up... Um, as all kinds of different things uh, within our bodies, within our psyches. It shows up. It's the real stuff. And we can dare to heal it. We can dare to heal it. We can dare to heal our own trauma and not sit in the shame of it. And as we dare to heal our own trauma, we're daring to heal the trauma of past generations. Because it's all interlinked. It's all some sticky, sticky web, right? Uh, 
I really invite you to think about the ways that you can dare yourself in the world. How can you dare to do and be different? How can you dare to embrace who you truly are? How can you dare to use your voice? How can you dare to use your power? How can you dare to acknowledge your strengths? Right? What are the ways that you can dare to rebel against the status quo in our patriarchal culture? Where is your daring? I invite you to check into that over the next several days. Where is it? Where is It's in you. It's in there. It is absolutely in there. Just like all our strengths are in us, all our power is in us. It's in here. All, all we need to do is embrace it. Acknowledge it. Nurture it. Right? So that's it for today. Um, there is one more, like I said, this is the third video. There'll be one more video and in it, I will uh, be talking about what it is to reclaim our light or to step into our light. And, um, I'm going to be talking a little bit about the leashed woman and unleashed woman and how it all, um, how it all intersects, right? Okay. So sending you love. I hope you enjoyed this and, um, and I'll connect with you again in a few more days. Okay.